right, guys, I'm here with an LED strip and a trunk without a trunk light. I'm going to show you guys how to install these LEDs, an LED strip, white LEDs, into a trunk so that you have a nice, clean, uh, bright trunk area. So here we go. I'm going to install them right up here. And uh, I don't have, as you see, I, I dynamited the entire interior of my trunk because I have subwoofers. Um, but I have a light right here uh this is where the previous light was i wasn't sure so what i'm gonna do is go ahead and put a multimeter up to it um see if the voltage is right around 12 volts when the trunk is open and when the trunk is closed it should be at zero volts um that will just save a lot of hassle installing these so you don't have to put an actual switch and if you did put a switch then you'd have to remember to turn them off every time um so these i got on amazon really cheap um they're just white leds and uh, they're 12 volts so I'm gonna go ahead and what you saw, what you see already is I did chop the end of the connector off. I have the connector over here. It just looks like this. It's a simple, you know, 12 volt wall socket. I just chopped it off. I'm gonna strip the wires out, positive and negative. And then I'm gonna use these quick connects probably to uh, connect to the factory wiring here. Um, and I'm just gonna cut that connector right there off. So I'm gonna hook up the voltmeter and see what the voltage reads. See here, I just have a normal um, multimeter. I'm gonna turn it to 20 volts um, and then I'm gonna probe the plug here. I have the leads hooked up to the plug and we're reading right around 12.47 volts, which is exactly what we want to see with this plug. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to take the factory plug here. Um, I don't really have that much wire to play with, so I'm gonna actually pull the wires out of this. I might solder on some extension wires just so I can get the LED plugs um, up in there, but uh, I'm gonna pull this plug off first and see how much wire I have to play with. So real quick, I am going to go ahead and splice these wires so I can show you guys the interior of them, and then uh, gonna go ahead and cut that plug and uh, use my little wire stripper here to uh, strip them. All right, so after you check the voltage on the trunk light switch to make sure it's actually the right switch you're going to want to go ahead and disconnect the negative terminal of the battery because you are going to be working on the electronics and you don't want to blow any fuses um, so i'm going to go ahead and do that now and disconnect it and then go back and start stripping some wires all right got the negative disconnected now we're going to go back to the rear and strip all the wires in the trunk all right, so what you see here is I got the two wires stripped uh, mostly. I just have the plastic cap still on there. I'm going to go ahead and crimp these two wires from the LED strip to the trunk light wires. So I'm going to go red to red, green to black. And you could always check which one's positive, which one's negative by using the voltmeter. Um, if it says negative, you have the polarity reverse. So if this was in... Um, what you thought was positive and it's reading negative then um switch it you know so i'm gonna go ahead and crimp them and uh keep going so after looking at the space that i have to deal with these wires which is very small i'm actually just going to solder them um and what you see what's important is you do put heat shrink on these and uh all i did here was um you know put yellow for the red and black for the black and make sure you put the heat shrink on before you actually go to solder it because you won't be able to put it on after so i'm going to go ahead and let my soldering iron heat up, heat up and uh, then go ahead and solder these two wires together all right so i got my soldering iron i got my solder and i got my two wires from the led strip what i like to do is i just like to pre-solder these um put some you know solder and some flux on there um, just to get them pre-done so that way when I do go ahead and throw it in the tr in the car here um, It's just easy to connect them and I'll and I'll also pre-solder the other two wires that are up here um, And then I'll just be able to use the soldering iron and just kind of Melt them together. So I'm gonna pre-solder these and pre-solder the ones in the trunk Got the wires pre-soldered same with those ones Gonna go ahead and connect them now Alrighty, I have the wires connected. I'm probably going to apply a little bit more solder just to make sure they're thoroughly connected and then I'm going to move the heat shrink up and uh, heat shrink them. Alright, so I got the wires all heat shrinked and wrapped up and now what I'm going to do 
is I'm going to go plug in the negative terminal of the battery and see if the lights come on. Um, I'm going to close the trunk first just in case, um, and then I'll open them so there's no sparking or anything. So uh, we're going to go and see what happens. All right, so here's what we got. Uh, the light is working. Here's the LEDs. All lit up in there. Now what I'm going to do is test the switch, so I'm going to close the trunk. Come around the back here. And you can see that the LED lights are, in fact, turned off. So, all good there. I'm going to pop the trunk. You can see if you can see them turn them on. So, I pop the trunk. Let's see if that takes it opening it. Boom. Open and they're on. Perfect. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and line the inside of the trunk with them um, up here. And uh, I have 16 feet of this, so... It's going to be quite a bit, so I can really get some nice light in here. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and line them, and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. All right, so another quick update here. Um, I have this 91% isopropyl in a microfiber rag. You want to do a good job at cleaning all of these surfaces that you want to apply the lights on. Because um, otherwise, this cheap adhesive, even though it is 3M, it's going to just fall right off. So, Especially with heat. So go ahead and uh, clean everything with a microfiber rag, wipe it down, and... Then we can stick it on. So I got some isopropyl and all I'm gonna do is literally just wipe all these surfaces down. Okay, wherever I'm sticking it, I'm gonna wipe it down really good with this isopropyl. So here's all the LEDs that I have. Um, you know, like I said, it's 16 feet, so that's quite a bit. I think this trunk is only three feet. Um, so, I mean, I could go back and forth and back and forth and kind of zigzag it somewhere. Um, ideally, I would put some down here as well, but I don't want to have to run it underneath all this stuff. Um, I don't know, we'll see what I'll end up doing. All right, so I just mapped out the lights and I do actually have enough to go ahead and run them all the way around down the back side here and come up and then run them back um so that's what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna start from the middle here with the light switches and run them across and go all the way down so i'm gonna start that okay so i'm about halfway done here um i got all of these lined up they're down here and they're gonna go in this back panel here so um you know you can't really tell a big difference during the daytime but i'm right here and i'm gonna follow it up this panel and then up here and then back down. Hopefully they meet up pretty well. All right guys, so I just managed to finish the install and you can see that I actually was able to crisscross the upper level three times. So it was a lot of LEDs, but as we can see here, I have it lining uh, the entire trunk. So um, I don't know what it's gonna look like yet, but it's all lined up and I mean, they're not bad, they're pretty bright LEDs, so I'm gonna come back here at nighttime. I'm gonna throw the subwoofers uh, back in the car and uh, come out here at nighttime and see what it looks like. All right, so as you guys see, it's uh, pitch black out right now. Um, I wanted to do the follow-up video to show you guys how the lights turned out. Um, so my car's right here, that's my headlights. And uh, let me lock it up and then I'll pop the trunk. And the lights only turn on when the trunk comes on, so. Here they are. So it turned out really well. Uh, it's really bright, you know? You can really see inside of there. Um, you know, like I said, I got three rows of LEDs up here, and then I would just followed around the entire trunk. And um, yeah, I mean, you can see exactly how good it looks. It looks great. And uh, that's gonna be the end of the video. So hope you guys enjoy. All of the links for all these products will be in the description below. So if you're interested in any of the stuff or any of the tools I used, Feel free to buy them off of Amazon. Thanks for watching.